God bless you this morning. God bless you this morning. Hope everyone is blessed out there. Hope your family is blessed. Hope you is blessed. And just stay encouraged this morning. My God, I got up this morning. I can make something happen. And you can too. My God, if you got up this morning, you can make something happen. Ain't no need of getting up complaining this morning. You got to make it happen. And half the stuff we done in our life, we created ourselves. Like them babies you got. You could have stopped it, but you didn't. So we got to deal with it. My God, you the one got that job. Okay, you've been saying it's raggly. Get you a new one. My God, you've been wanting to lose some weight. Well, this is the time. Get in that gym. Lose some weight. You want to go back to school. My God, go back to school. It's open. Right now, go online. Make something happen. You wanted to make more money? Get you a second job. This is what time it is. No complaining. Results is what we're looking for. And this is what God is looking for. And listen, we're going to talk about something today that even hurt my heart because anytime God repent after he makes something, you know it was a mistake. And this is about the only mistake that God made and when he made us. Uh-oh. I said when he made us. So what do that mean? Sometimes we could be a hot mess. I'm talking about people. That's why I don't believe in putting all my trust in man. I put all my trust in God first. I have to live the law of the land. If they say don't do this, I have to, be, I have to do that. If they say do that, I have to do that. I heard something today. I really don't want to put it in the atmosphere because I, I don't trust man. But they was talking about years ago when a, uh, a virus came out that people would had to put on a certain amount of clothes and had to wear certain masks. Well, I hope we're not getting to that point where we have to wear certain outfits. Well, they had us make it wearing the mask and so they can have us doing anything. But what I learned about this uh, COVID uh, year, the COVID-19, is that when we stick together, we can make anything happen. When there is no us, there's no nothing. There's no restaurants, there's no barbershops, there's no uh, 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 sports, uh, there's nothing. Uh, there's nothing going on if it's not us. So that means that we make the difference. So we have to start sticking together. Isn't that good news? Well, I want to talk about Genesis chapter 6, verse 6. And it's very uh, familiar uh, text, but it's, it's it, just to give you an introduction of it, God was very uh, repentant of what he had seen man's doing. In Genesis chapter 3, it talks about the curses of it. When Adam and Eve ate off the tree, it, everybody was cursed. He cursed the, the serpent and uh, uh, he cursed Adam and he cursed Eve and, 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 and curses. And this is uh, what chapter 3, ver chapter 6 talks about uh, it was ha they was having incest, having sex with their daughters. If their daughter was, the uh, Bible said that they, 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 if they was beautiful girls, the fathers would go with them. Uh, my God. So this is what uh, chapter uh, three, chapter six be talking about. And we're going to talk about a little bit about that, that it repented God that he had made man. That's deep. Let me read that in your hearing. Genesis chapter six, verse six. Oh, you hear them pages turning? You hear them. My God. That's why you have to open this Bible up sometime. Put that phone down. To really feel the feel of the Bible. Did they? Is it a Genesis chapter six in my Bible? Somebody say, "Man, we need to find Genesis chapter six. Okay, Lord, Genesis chapter five. Okay, here we are. Whew, thank God for glasses. Genesis chapter six, verses six. It said, and it repented the Lord that he had made man on this earth, and it grieved him at his heart. Wow. And the Lord said, I will destroy man who I have created from the face of this earth, both man and beast, and the creeping things, uh, the creeping things and the fowls of the air. For it repented me, my God, that I had made them. Verse 8, watch this. It said, but Noah, put your name in there, but Charles, but Vera, but Mercedes, Pookie, Ray Ray, put your name in there. But Noah found faith, found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And these are the generations of Noah, and Noah was a just man and perfect in his generation. My God. And Noah walked with God. Isn't that good news? That's where I want to be. And this is why it's so important for us to be 
really independent with God, personal with God, because God looked at Noah and then God blessed everything that Noah loved after him, which his wife and his sons. <clears throat> Come on, church. And this is where you got to be. You got to be bought and sold out for Jesus Christ, God himself, for him to look at you and say, but the Lord, my God, found grace in Charles. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Man, that makes me excited. My God, I can go to the mirror and kiss myself because of the fact that I know I'm sold out for God. I'm not faking. I'm not playing no games. I'm loving on people. I'm being nice to people. I'm good being good at my job, good to my co-workers, good to my husband, good to my wife. Come on, that got to be you. Good to my children. My God, I got all positive going today. And when I lay down at night, at the end of the night, I said, Lord, I did a good job. My God, I want to be a Noah. Look at your neighbor and say, I want to be a Noah. My God, it makes me excited because I know if I do right by God, I can do good by myself. I don't need no help. If you don't want this Jesus, give him all to me. I'll take it all. Isn't that good news? Well, we don't want God to get upset with us because of the fact that things can jump off that we don't want to jump off. Because he's a just God. He's a real God. But don't play with him. Come on, somebody. He said that I, if I love you, I chase you. What does that mean? I'll give you a whooping. My God, if you complain, he'll do just like our parents did us. What you crying for? Okay? You keep on crying. I'm going to give you something to cry for. That's the way God operates with us. Well, I love you all. Take that word and run with it. Don't complain about nothing. Get in the, in the sight of God and let he have grace. Is that good news? God bless you all. Be blessed.